Coach Robert Sullivan, Mayor of the City of Brockton. We're here today on Patriots Day. I'm joined by uh, Plymouth County District Attorney Tim Cruz, who will say a few words in a few minutes. Uh, Counselor from Ward 7, Shirley Azak is here. Uh, my team is here. Uh, this, you know what, at the end of the day, this is what Brockton is about, coming together for a common purpose. Today we're gearing towards educating uh, and, and providing all the opportunities for youth in the city of Brockton, the next generation. Uh, we have Brockton Police, led by uh, Police Chief Brenda Perez is here. We have Fire Department here, led by Chief Brian Nardelli. Um, but really, it's all the different organizations that are coming together to provide resources and outreach and activities and opportunities for the youth. Uh, the desk we're at here is talking about job opportunities and summer enrichment programs, learn to swim programs. So again, I'm just so proud to be here. I'm really happy with a beautiful day. And with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to District Attorney uh, Tim Cruz this time. I want to thank you, Thomas, from BCA for always, always supporting everything in the city of Brockton. I also want to give a shout out to uh, Matt, Mark Vasconcellos from the Enterprise. Mark is everywhere. He's like the Energizer Bunny. Mark, thank you for always being here. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to DA Cruz. Thanks, Mayor. This, this is a great day. I want to thank the, the Mayor of Brockton. I want to thank the Brockton Fire and all the other groups that are working together, trying to make sure we can keep our kids busy and active here this summer. Uh, I think it's such a great thing. We have many other programs for kids going on right now, whether it be the Unity Basketball League down the Charter School or the, the Tamara Bucci uh, Trooper uh, course that just began last week at the Boys and Girls Club. It's really important for kids to have positive role models in their lives, and that's why these programs are so incredibly important. So I want to thank the mayor uh, for being here today, putting this all together with all the fire, police, all the important people that are here today to make sure that we can get these kids busy and have a great and, most importantly, a safe summer with good positive role models. So I want to thank you all for coming out today. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. I also want to thank Pinnacle Partners in the Board of Health, led by Dr. Eno Mondes here. Uh, the numbers in Brockton right now of COVID, uh, thankfully, uh, really decreased. We're in a green category, uh, but COVID is not gone. So today, we're actually doing the opportunity to give out home test, test kits free uh, and also booster shots at all. So if you uh, watch this on BCA and you want to get a booster shot, uh, you want to get a first or second vaccine, we actually will come to your home if it's more uh, more accessible for you to do it that way, or you could always call the uh, Brockton Board of Health. But uh, at this time, uh, dedicated Ward 7 City Council, former Council President Shirley Azak. Thank you, Mayor. Well, thank you. First of all, thank you to the Mayor's Office for organizing this. The, uh, of course, the DA's office is always involved um, with getting our, uh, the Boys and Girls Club we have our police, our fire here. I'm not going to repeat everything they just said, but I w would love to see more of our um, kids come out and take advantage of all these programs. Brockton has some of the best programs for our kids, for our youth, for our teens, and we really need to, you know, parents, family, friends, bring them down. The weather's beautiful. There's a lot of free gifts, a lot of great information. Keep them busy. We have programs that will really um, help our kids become great adults, um, really good adults. And it's all about educating them, and that's what we're here for. Um, I have to just put in one plug for the police. Um, when my girls were in middle school, they did the um, the um, police youth police academy, and I'll tell you, it was one of the best experiences of their lives. So come down, find out what's happening in Brockton, and um, you know, learn a little something about uh, being a good Brocktonian. Thank you. Thank you, Counselor. And uh, I do want to thank the Boys and Girls Club for being here. And, of course, they just had uh, New England quarterback uh, Mac Jones come to the City of Champions and donate $100,000. Very generous. Uh, again, the Boys and Girls Club is an award-winning organization on Warren Avenue. We have the YMCA on Main Street here as well. Uh, you know, we just have so many 24-hour power led by Susie Lordy, graffiti artists are here. So this is what it means when we talk about City of Champions. It's a champion effort right now. So, again, I want to thank DA Cruz. I want to thank Counselor Isaac. I want to thank my team. I want to thank Sydney Merrill, my chief of staff, Davison Perez, Jasmine Bradshaw, uh, Jay DeGrace, John Messia. So many people working for a common purpose for a better Brockton and, again, taking care of our youth. So if you have the opportunity to come down here, we're here to 1.30. Thank you. Be well. Stay safe. Thank you.